Today is the final episode of X-Men 97 and to celebrate I've decided to go back to the very first episode of this series and create a scene that A doesn't spoil the show for if you haven't caught up, B definitely doesn't spoil the finale because I still haven't watched it yet, this is being recorded yesterday, and C captures the essence of what this series has been again without spoiling any other episode. And it was a bit tricky, but I decided to go with something that showed up in a few of the early trailers, something that showed up quite early on in the very first episode. And also, let's be honest, we were all expecting from the show, and that is a Sentinel battle. It wouldn't have been X-Men's animated show without another Sentinel battle. So I've created this in Lego. I've actually updated my old Sentinel mech design because... Well, the colours were a bit off. I think I used dark blue and like a light purple. I've now used magenta and dark purple, which honestly are one for one colours with the actual Sentinels. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. But before we start, if you do end up enjoying, please do like the video. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome Lego builds because there are a few good ones coming up. But I hope you enjoy the video. And we're going to take a look at the Sentinel mech first. It does use the headpiece that came with the Wolverine CMF. In fact, I've actually used two in this diorama display. But as you can see, compared to the images on the left, it is a bit different to what it used to look like. I mean, the colours are completely different, but also some of the pieces and some of the styles used for this mech, such as on the arms, I haven't included any slopes because the arms just come out of the shell, which is its torso. So I do think it looks a bit better as it is now. And if you wanted to see what the skeleton of this thing looked like after I pulled off all of the pieces I wasn't going to keep, I'll also show some photos of that on the side because it looks like something out of Five Nights of Freddy's, at least once you remove all the nice fluffy parts of all the animatronics. But I'm really pleased with how this mech come across. Of course, it is a mech, so if you wanted to, you can definitely pop off the Sentinel head here and have perhaps even a Sentinel minifigure to go inside. That would be really, really cool if we did get a set like this. And I think it'd be a nice cheap set to go alongside the X-Men jet. There have been rumors of an X-Men mansion, which it's only going to cost a lot more than the X-Men jet, and I really would love to pick it up at some point. Mainly, I'd love to pick it up for the Rogue and Magneto minifigures. The jet itself is nice and sleek. It just falls into one of them categories of ships that eventually get destroyed. So it's sort of like the Razor Crest and the Marauder, and if they end up getting destroyed, I don't really see much of a point of keeping them on my shelf, unless I'm going to accidentally drop them at some point, but even then, I'd hope to get it on camera. Anyway, I'm very happy with how this mech turned out. I have copied across the elbow joints from the Ahsoka mech. You can see they are a bit more motorized. I couldn't find this piece in magenta in my collection. I don't even know if it exists, but as you turn the arms, it gives it an elbow joint, which just looks a lot smoother than otherwise. And if you are new here, I do modify my mechs. I've got a nice hinge piece in the arms and most of my legs also have some joints but as this was quite a sturdy mech I wanted this to not flop over at any point in the video I have used the Lego piece but definitely check out some of my old mech videos probably whack the playlist either on the end screen or in the description or probably even both so definitely be sure to check them out and now let's take a look at the display to go along with it before I add the mech to this display I just want to go over all the X-Men because these aren't all official Lego minifigures. In fact, only two of these are. And that is, of course, the Wolverine, which is the CMF version, and also Beast. Once again, the CMF version, if you've seen me try to build the Wolverine without using their actual pieces, I did a whole video on it. Again, it'll be linked in either the end screen or the description. You all know that these are two minifigures that can't be replaced. Unlike Cyclops, who uses a Ninjago headpiece with a visor, also uses a Ninjago torso. There are probably a few Ninjago pieces across my mocks. Morgan Ellsbeth recently used a few Ninjago pieces, and usually Star Wars use a bunch of the Ninjago pieces. So it's really, really nice. I've also got Hawkeye's torso for Gambit here, which is the most pinkish purplish torso I could find. And I also use the same torso for a Zam Wessel custom. And then it's using that old Sand Trooper masked face, which I think goes quite well 
For Rogue, we've got the Wolverine torso, and similarly for Morph, also more or less the full Wolverine suit, just a few of the longer sleeves, and that is Pre Vizsla's Clone Wars face on Morph. I thought it was the best one to go with their design. And as I said earlier, there was another Sentinel head, and you can see it just back there with a giant, it looked like a wing in the show. I'm not sure what that is, but I guess it works as a wing. Perhaps it's one of the torso chest plates that have just worn down and not looking as purple. And because of the bright magenta that does stick out quite a bit whilst watching the episode, I have included a few other magenta slopes, which could be kneecaps, they could be elbows, they could be parts of the skulls of other sentinels. It's sort of a scrapyard that they find themselves in. So I have included a bunch of different pieces. You can see a lot of these are connected out of system. It's how I add a bit more depth to the build rather than just blocking them up. I'll try and include as many pieces as I can, wonky or not in there, the way they're actually meant to be connected. You can also see some frying pan studs connected upside down there and the Sentinel should pop right in just like that. And I don't think it's ever been as easy to connect two Lego bricks on camera. I think this does look really cool. You can see the height of the Sentinel over the minifigures. Is it minifigure scale? For this scene, I'm pretty sure, no way. I'm pretty sure the Sentinel should be at least this high, but this is actually minifigure scale to the Sentinel that shows up in the very, very first episode of the X-Men animated series. This is when Jubilee is introduced and they're running through the shopping center or mall and being chased by a sentinel that is two floors tall. Now, if we were to take this sentinel and go over to my Lego city, which does have an update coming soon and place down the sentinel, you can see it is almost two heights tall. So that is where I'm getting my scale from. It's not quite the one to 45, I'm sure. It can't be far off a six inch figure, in fact. So let me try and grab one of them. So here we have the Kenobi Black Series six inch action figure. And as you can see, it works as a six inch action figure, which is quite interesting because does that mean Kenobi is two heights tall compared to a minifigure? But anyway, if we grab the Sentinel and move back to the desk, I do apologize if the motion isn't as smooth as you'd like it because this camera does have a mind of its own sometime, but I think this scale is the perfect scale for this diorama. It's not too tall that it takes away from the base. It also allows me to use that piece from Wolverine's CMF, which honestly, if I built it any bigger, I'm not sure it would look as good, but perhaps you could even get it a little bit taller, but then it'd be between the two. So this is for the smaller century. And if you would like the instructions to this model, definitely let me know. Of course, that's mostly for the mech. I'm sure you can all put together your own scrap yards. And honestly, these are just a bunch of pieces I had when I was building this and they're just all placed randomly. There really is no pattern to make it look this good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, if you did, drop a like and subscribe for more awesome LEGO builds. And may the bricks be with you always.